Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality, and in this video we're going to go over the new changes made to the Playwright VS Code extension. If you haven't seen my previous video about the VS Code extension, I'll put a link into the description now and I'll pop it on the screen as well for you. Since that video already covers installation and is an in-depth guide of how to use the extension, I won't cover that here today. Today we're solely going to focus on the updates and the changes. Right then, first of all, before you can use the newest features and updates of the extension, you need to ensure that you have Playwright version 1.25.0 installed. My project is already on this version of 1.250, which is currently the latest one. Um, but if you needed to do that, you can go into your package JSON file, update Playwright to this, and run an npm install command from your terminal, and you'll be good to go. What actually has changed then? So let's click into the testing tab and have a look. What you're going to see immediately is they have two views. They have a test explorer view and the playwright view. You can toggle and hide these from the top up here. So if you only want to show one of them, you can do that and that's completely fine. But what you're going to see is inside the test explorer, it's going to allow you to do things like ordering your tests, executing them, debugging them, choosing the profiles, basically all of which we covered in the linked video. So uh, if you haven't, go check that out. But what, like I've just said, there's also now a playwright view, and this is where the new updates come into play. So let's go down the list as we see them, and we'll cover off exactly what we can do with each one. Pick selector. It allows us to choose a selector on the open browser, and this can be done during a test or after a test, and it basically allows us to find and copy a selector to use in our tests. So let's yeah, use this as an example. If I click Pick Selector, what you're seeing here is a new browser is open for us because we haven't already got one open, and this Pick Selector box uh, in VS Code has popped up. And if I just go to google.com, what you're going to see now is I will hover over elements and it's going to find these selectors for us. So if I click on one of these, that's copied into this box and it's telling us down below to accept to copy this selector into our clipboard, we can press enter or we can press escape. So if I hit enter, what we're going to see now is I should be able to paste this selector from up the top into my tests. So I should have a test file somewhere in here. So I could paste that over this one, for example, and all would be good and then we could do actionable uh, clicks or fill in events or whatever we want to do with our locator and like i said this can be done from you know, the start of a test or it can be done from inside a test as well so if you're working through a test and you need to find something you can click the pick selector uh, option and you can do what you want with it so let's exit out of this the browser is still open and uh, I can click the close all browsers tab and I'll close everything down first, which is great. So you've just actually seen the close all browsers as well. Okay, so let's uh, undo that a second because that has no bearing on this test. And the next thing we can go through is record new. And this is doing basically what it says on the tin. It allows us to record a new Playwright test from scratch and it'll create a test file for us. And uh, we could do this before using the VS Code extension in the old versions. However, the um, option has now been moved into this Playwright view. So for example, if I click record new, you can see this test uh, to spec TS file is being created for us because there's already a test one uh, created. A new browser should open up and we should be able to record all the actions. Okay, that's loaded up. So once again, if I say go to google.com, you should see in the test to spec that it's going to go to google.com. There we are, that's popped up. If I scroll down and only on this test, I'll just do a simple um, click accept on the cookie. So let me expand that. I'll click accept all and then we're good to go. So if I just minimize that a second, we can see here that we've said ex, um, accept all and it's now expecting the page to have the URL of uh, google.com. So I'm gonna close this browser and then we've got a brand new Playwright test auto-generated for us uh, using the record new option from this Playwright view. Like I said, we could do this before, nothing really new going on there. 
The next option we have is record from here and this is a really interesting option. This will allow us to create a new test based off wherever we currently are in our test browser. So I'm going to skip over this for a second and I'll show you an example in just a few moments. The next option we have is the show and reuse browser and you can t you can click it which will uncheck the box or um, tick it and I'll check the box and uh, basically what this does is it will run out tests in headed mode so by default they're headless of course unless you've uh, changed that in your config um, but after the test com completes instead of closing the browser down and cleaning up the browser will stay open so we could pair this up with the record from here option in a second and see how it works so before we do anything I'm going to Make sure this is unchecked just to show you how it works. I'll use the one we just created, the test to spec, and I'm just going to run this um, from the test explorer. I'll click run. And what we should see is it'll run um, in headless mode and it'll clean up and everything for us. Okay, so that's starting to run. Okay, so let's go into the google.com uh, URL. But notice there's no headed mode. It's gone to the locator, it's clicked it, and the test has now passed. All run in headless mode, um, and the browser would have been cleaned up after it. Now what I want to do is I want to click the show and reuse browser. So now you can see that checkbox is in there. And I'm going to rerun the test again. And what we should see is it's going to show the browser in headed mode. And after the test passes, we will have the browser still live in um, and available for us to do extractions with so we could say pick new selector or pick selector on it we could record from here there's loads of different options and we'll show that in a second so let's just let that run through so that's loaded up here on the other screen so it's just performed all the actions for us um, and you can see that, that test run and it's passed but the browser is actually staying there for us so, for example, now we can use the example of record from here and come back to this. And like I said, what this allows us to do is record from the given state of the browser that's open and it'll create a brand new test script and we can perform actions from this. So a good example would be maybe um, you've saved all your state for logging into a website and now you want to record from here and you don't want to record right from the start each time of having to log in because you've already done that in your global setup. So if I click record from here, you can see this new test has been created and we can now start performing actions from where we were in the last test. So I could say YouTube, if I could spell YouTube and let's move this up a bit, make it larger and I can click maybe Google search. And maybe I'm happy with that, so I'll let that cut through and I'll go back to what we have. And what you can see now is test three is picked up from our exact browser and we can do whatever we want. I could even start saying pick selected in here if I wanted to. So I can go back into here and I can hover over things and it's going to give me the select that I want. There we are. So it says text YouTube. I could click on it. And if I go back to VS Code, you see here that select has been uh, chosen and I can once again I can click enter to copy or I can click exit to get rid of it and um, we're back to that point and once I'm happy with everything I can say close all browsers and then I have the brand new test created the browsers have closed down and we're all good to go in all honesty I really like this update and it does make it seem a lot cleaner um, so they are the new features um, which have been added to Playwright version 1.2.5 Point zero. As always, if you do have any questions, please leave a comment below and thank you for watching.